Greetings everyone, Slizzle 466 here, and before we start today's video, I've got two big announcements to share with you. The first one is that I have a Sunken City standard bundle to give away thanks to my friends at Hearthstone and Blizzard Entertainment. This bundle contains 60 card packs, one card back, and two random legendaries. To enter this giveaway, it's very easy. All you have to do is one, make sure you are subscribed on YouTube, and then two, pay attention during the videos in the next few days or so, because I will let you know which specific video you will have to drop a comment in to enter that giveaway. Now it's not this video, then feel free to comment if you want to about the gameplay that's coming up, but you will know the specific video that's gonna be. Um, it's gonna either be some video starting tomorrow or any video leading up to April 6th. The other big announcement I have to make is that Play Hearthstone, for the first time ever, has invited me to a theory crafting event. And it's not just any theory, theory crafting event, it is a wild one. So if you watch on Twitch, on April 7th, I'll be streaming from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time. If you have any great wild deck ideas, feel free to drop a comment below or reply on Twitter, whatever works for you. Uh, but hopefully you can tune in for that event. Okay, so here we go. We're playing Togwaggle Druid today. Um, I haven't made a Togwaggle Druid video for a while, but I feel like it's overdue because Wild Heart Guff is just so insane. So basically, we don't need to play all the Aviana Coon nonsense anymore because we have 20 mana with Guff. So we can just go King Togwaggle as a leaner, and we're good to go. Um, also, because of Celestial Alignment, um, they're gonna probably cost one. So you don't necessarily have to get up to 20 mana, you might just play a Celestial Alignment and you're good to go. So definitely there's a lot of room to play around with your mana in this deck. You've also got the combo of Twig of the World Tree and Sphere of Sapience to get lots of mana. So you've got options that are much more efficient than Aviana and Kuhn. Now, Warlock opponent, can you please have your turn? Okay, you are a Mechathune lock. Well roped. they rope again, I'm super annoyed. Yay! They didn't rope. Okay. Very exciting gameplay. I'll get a card. So next turn, Oaken Summons seems like the sensible play. And then Guff on five. Okay, so it's Owl Warlock, not Megathune. Which doesn't really change much, to be honest. Didn't pull Vargoth, lost the 50 50. There's our friend the Rod. Ooh, hello, Twig. Okay, so I can alignment next turn and then have a crazy turn nine. I'll take it. Mm. 
I'm concerned the celestial alignment might help them though. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm also gonna have to play really fast. Wish me luck. Oh no, that's next turn. <laughs> it's next turn I need luck. This turn I might this turn I should be okay. I only have one mana. Okay, now here we go. Okay, I could have done more. Oh, that's their deck. Vulgen, Backfire, Tua Guide. So I mean, I could have done a lot more that turn, but the whole I'm old and bad at playing cards quickly thing. Interesting. I'm dead, aren't I? They need Cataclysm. I mean, I, I can see their hand here. I have their... Yeah, their Cataclysm's in my deck. Maybe they can get a plague with their hand. Their hand is... um. Oh, but they got the Tamsin. They've got the Tamsin. So I still might be screwed. Oh, but I can just do it back. Yeah. They shouldn't have conceded. I could have messed it up. Okay. Let's find our next victim. Paladin. Diamond 3 Paladin. What is this? Okay. I don't need to project on one. I'd rather save that for after the Celestial Alignment. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Oh my. <laughs> His questline paladin. Very well. Okay, there's Celestial Alignment. It's good news. Beautiful. 
Beautiful top deck. Very well. Can I win the 50 50? I do. Hooray. Okay, Questline's making progress up there. Okay. I still have my giant taunt. Twig. Twig's fine. Okay. Again, I, I didn't want to play Project. I don't want to give them mana. Broom? What the waste of a broom? Oh, now Plague shows up. What's really cool here is um, on turn... So on turn 8, I'll, I'll be at 1 durability, and then turn 9 I can just whack and be at 10 mana. It's too, bad, it's too bad we didn't have Guff yet. Ah, uh, that's a that's a Zephyrus. This is a Reno Questline Paladin. My goodness. My goodness me. I haven't tested I haven't tested Oh My Yog yet. I'll just use this. What do I get? Spreading Plague becomes Dark Whispers. That's pretty good. It's almost as good. <laughs> that belongs in the Thank you. I mean, basically, that just, that just doesn't mean I can go crazy on turn 9. But I can still go crazy on turn 9. Now, it's a Reno deck, which means that's not Oh My Yog. Okay. I should have attacked first. That's okay. Mistakes happen. The weight of justice hangs. Okay, it's eight PM time. Wish me luck again. Always a good one.
Do do do. Again, I could have done that better. But I'm slow. Man, their hand sucks. <laughs> but at least they have no deck. Why are they running Chief Inspector? My goodness. So that secret is something they drew? Oh no, it's off the weapon. We win! So there you go. Togwaggle Druid. It's pretty fun. It's not easy to play. But as you can see, you know, I didn't do perfect combos. But as long as you can kind of fumble your way through most of it, you're good to go. So you'll find the deck code in the description below. If you want to help support the channel, feel free to click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, leave a comment. And until next time, hope to see you again.